This is Gertrude St. John. To friends, she's known as Gertie. To telemarketers and her osteopath, she's Miss St. John. To strangers, she's no one at all. But this isn't his story. Gertie's parents had a unique sense of humor. In utero, Gertie bucked and thrashed so wildly, her mother named her after Galloping Gertie, a bridge over the Puget Sound in Washington State that shimmied and shaked so wildly that on November 7, 1940, it shook itself apart and collapsed into the frigid waters below. When she was very young, Gertie dreamed of becoming a trapeze artist, performing high-wire stunts for an adoring audience. Gertie's grandfather, Oren, owned an Art Deco movie palace in better times. At age six, her aunt, a high-spirited alcoholic named Midge, introduced her to motion pictures, starting with the corroding nitrates stored in her attic. The images captivated her. Gertie dreamed of being in the movies, but instead spent her life educating other young actors, channeling her creative energy into community theater and helping young filmmakers realize right. their dreams. Look straight ahead. She met her husband, an ophthalmologist and aspiring playwright, and settled down in a leafy suburb where they raised two children who are now out making their own ways in the world. Her husband died three years ago of a pulmonary embolism. It was sudden, unexpected, the kind of death that forces one to re-examine how they've spent their lives. Bereft and seeking comfort, she took a part-time job at the movie theater. A salve for this heartbroken old woman. Who are you calling old? I'm sorry. I didn't I didn't know you could hear me. Of course I can hear you. I promise. I I meant it as a compliment. There's dignity in aging gracefully. Not letting the slings and arrows That's just rude. Isn't that rude, Sloan? So rude. Besides, this is my story. What gives you the right to butt in? I, I didn't... Can you believe the nerve of this guy? I... I... No, I... I, I Scram! Oh no! You... You stay! You stay! We still have a story to tell. Uh... Son, can you believe the nerve of that guy? Told you. Don't trust him. Documentary my ass. That's the way it is. You hold the camera, you get the power. You choose how the story is told. Turning my life into some sob story about some quiet, dignified old lady. Fuck that. <laughs> what about you, young man? What do you think? I just shoot pictures. But you've set up all these lights, and you set up the tripod and, and the camera, and you decide where to point it. Look, don't hassle me, lady. Do you want me to shoot you or what? I'm the director now, and I want this movie in black and white. And I want to use an academy ratio. And I want to look like Mary Pickford. <laughs> <laughs>